In this lesson, I want to talk to you about the little known benefits of using your imagination. Remember the movie The Walk from 2015? This movie was about a high wire walker who connected a wire between the twin towers in New York. The end scene of the movie involved him actually walking on this really high wire. Now, I saw this scene on the big IMAX screen in 3D. My palms sweated heavily and I became uneasy. I don't like heights. This is one powerful scene at evoking your imagination. Here's what one other person had to say while watching this scene. The last 20 minutes of the film, I had to look away a couple of times because of the sensation of the height. I felt a little bit queasy. I felt nervous. It was a tingling sensation and some anxiety. These feelings were caused by the imagination. People saw this scene and visualized themselves being there on the high wire. And they freaked out. This is the power of imagination. But it gets even better. Your mind doesn't know the difference between a real event and an imagined event. In fact, if you imagine something enough, your brain will start to form new neural connections doing the actual thing imagined without you leaving your bed or your seat. I want to share with you a study on the power of mental rehearsal, aka using your imagination. This study involved students shooting basketball hoops. The researchers wanted to know if there would be any improvement from just imagining shooting hoops. The experiment involved three groups. The first group was to practice shooting basketball hoops. The second group was asked to only visualize themselves shooting hoops. The third group was asked to do nothing. After four weeks, they tested the students in each group to see what happened. The first group, which practiced shooting hoops, improved by 24%. The third group, which did nothing, showed no improvement. And here are the shocking results. The group that only visualized shooting hoops showed a 23% improvement without even touching a basketball. Can you imagine what would happen if they had another group that practiced throwing hoops and visualizing shooting hoops? Your imagination is really powerful. It is a tool that is completely underutilized in everyday life. I would like to give you an example from my own experience. Let's talk about bowling. I can't stand it and I'm no good at it. Up until a certain point, I would never get over 100 points. If you are not familiar with bowling, well, let me tell you, that score is hopeless. A couple of years ago, I got the Xbox Kinect with the Kinect Sports game. Now they have a mini game on it, which is bowling. I played this bowling game a couple of times. And as it is the Kinect, you actually have to go through the motions of bowling. You physically have to pretend that you have a bowling ball and throw it down an imaginary lane. That's how the Kinect sensor recognizes you. So I played on the Kinect. I got strikes, spares, and at the end of each game, a high score. After playing Kinect Bowling, I went to play the real game with some friends. When I started bowling, I actually saw myself playing the Kinect. I was actually bowling, but I just saw myself playing the Kinect. And I went through the same motions as if it was the Kinect. Here's the weirdest thing. I got strikes. I got spares. I got two strikes in a row. And I couldn't believe what was happening to me. I don't remember my score, but I am pretty sure I doubled what I usually got. I was confused as to what happened. I even enjoyed the game. It took me a couple of days to figure out that it was the Kinect. Going through the motions and seeing a strike on the Kinect changed my perception of bowling and in real bowling I showed amazing improvement. Probably what helped me was seeing the success on the Kinect. So in a way, I was visualizing the success via Xbox Kinect. So using the Kinect, 
I was going through the motions and seeing positive results. Then when I played the real game, I improved. I have given you these examples because our imagination is the most underutilized technology that exists. It's the best way to do something. It is also a known fact that our minds cannot separate what is real and what is imagined. The same parts of the brain light up and create new neurons. But like everything, you have to do it right. You have to exercise your visualization regularly and there are certain guidelines for creating a powerful image inside your head. In the next lesson, we will cover what you need in your visualizations to create a compelling image that motivates you to act. See you then.